blowing my hair in my face. All right, we are at Juan and a Million, also known as best 50 breakfast tacos in the U.S., also known as, oh, best hangover food in Austin or something. Um, I got the, of course, Don Juan El Taco Grande. Apparently, one taco feeds four people. That's a hefty taco. <laughs> Before and after. Absolutely <laughs> scorching outside. Basically, we're dying. We just uh, went to the picnic. I got a chicken euro wrap. So, man, eat this and then wait a little bit. Go to the gym. Probably die again because I don't think it's air conditioned. But yeah, we also just like stumbled upon this vintage t shirt convention. I saw a poster on South Congress Street and we just showed up. So that was that was a little adventure. As a, a Texas girl, you know, I've had a lot of brisket in my life. <laughs> that was the best. That was the best brisket. Texas style brisket, period. So that was a restaurant called Loro that I found online. I think it was really cool and like immediately I knew I had to go because the concept is an Asian smokehouse, which is just a fusion of Japanese and Texas barbecue. Can anything be better? Like, no. These two award-winning professional chefs 
kind of joined forces and made this restaurant, which is super cool. The owner of Franklin's Barbecue, which is a Austin landmark, honestly. Um, I think I've never tried to even go because there's lines out the door like 24 seven. That's just how it is. So I don't know. It could have been the fact that I haven't had brisket in forever, but that brisket was unreal. Now we are off to end the Austin cheat day at Voodoo Donuts. I believe the first Voodoo Donuts location in Texas was here in Austin, or at least that's the first that I knew about. Um, I also had been to the Portland original Voodoo Donuts before. I, I don't even know the last time I had a donut. I'm very excited. <laughs> Original glaze reaction. It's thick. I'm used to my Shipley's. Maple bacon bar. Mm. That contrast. I just like Shipley's. <laughs> <laughs>